Hello fans, friends and viewers, welcome to the 6th, yeah, 6th Simeon Scandal devlog. Yes, I am. Now I'm sure you expect me to pointlessly justify why and, yeah, you got me, let's go. Back in the ancient times of December 2020, some dumbass named Remy Chan opened a gate to hell, found salvation with hot demon girls and forgot to provide updates on- what the hell? That isn't right. I need to literally get ice card. I'm sure I'd remember that. Let's see. Also, how's 2020 ancient? Whatever. Get out of my studio. You're fired. No back pay. You don't pay me, dude. <clears throat> so, what actually happened as well? Because Christmas is the evangelical equivalent to burning away the remains of family members with superficial love and kindness, I did get worked on. But it was too early to work on it. I was gonna work on it in early January, but I was too busy packing house for what I prayed on. God, is the last fucking time for a few years. I moved three darn times in the span of a year, which is why one of the show's segments became such a recurring gimmick and will now have new material yet again. This was a pretty big move and a costly one, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. See, usually our works with renting in Australia is you put down an advance payment called a bond to acquire the right to live in the house and sign the lease. Then, once you've done that, you're also expected to pay two weeks rent in advance and then rent as well each fortnight or week until you want to move again, at which point you are locked into renting a place for a period of time. Remember this as it will become relevant later. And when you want to renew the lease, you can also choose to sign off on it or end the tenancy if you so desire. If you do this, your bond and only your bond will be refunded along with any days that you have paid for beyond the ending date of the lease, so long as the place is in good condition and your real estate aren't morally bankrupt cunts. But here's the kicker. Our previous place I could only afford with three family members total. Because we knew we could three ways to buy the rent, it wasn't too bad at all, but then my brother had a large and very rare occurrence transpire, meaning he had to leave early. And because we knew we couldn't afford to, it with just the two of us, we had to break the lease early. Remember what I said earlier about being locked in via contract? Well... Our real estate, despite having absolute shitloads of time to find new tenants, were incredibly fucking lazy about it, and we were in danger of having to pay two weeks of rent. Because when the lease is terminated, you have to keep paying rent until either a new tenant moves in or your pre-existing lease ends. Finally, they did find a set of tenants they wanted to bring in, but unfortunately, they'd pissed around the pot so fucking long that we had to pay three extra four nights of rent to our current real estate, as well as to our new place. In other words, of the 1000 ish dollars I get per week, 636 was being paid straight onto rent, and that's before paying my overseas employees, bills of other sorts, or even groceries. It was hell, and mostly because most real estate agents in the world are morally banked up lazy cunts with no integrity or willpower. We should get our bond back and did, but knowing these useless incompetent dipshits, I wasn't banking on it. So, beyond that fucking cascade of hemorrhaging headaches, I have had a minor burnout mostly due to stress and knowing I'd be in a new house before long, I figured I'd make the episode a few days late so I could make use of the house gimmick again. It's the best thing to say that the act of moving our stuff from house to house and packing was the least stressful of everything. It was a full on fucking month of arguing with wanton dipshits, having people inspect the place and covering up all the bullshit the real estate refused to fix despite some of them being fucking safety hazards. So yeah, if they had tried to screw us out of our bond, I would have been rather pangry. We would have in fact been so pangry that we'd have likely taken them to small claims court and gotten their shit deleted. And gotten our bond back anyway. But alas, that doesn't account for the two months after the fact it still took. Yes, the house is nice now, but I didn't want to film here before it was ready. But at last, that has happened, and yeah, here we are. Right, so I'm sorry about the video being let out of the way. Let's get back to what you actually care about. Hey, Choco Nuts and Horses Asses, it is I, Pep Cookie Dough. So, the game is coming along well. After mastering my secret technique of skipping the part where I create actual boss fights to welcome main story content instead, Lamau, I've now gotten the main story up to basically just a short bit before the end of Discs 2, which is where the Demo 3 is going to end. Demo 3 will probably be completed sometime this year, I'm guessing quarter 3 or maybe quarter 4. PJCR has gotten me some files, such as Accurate Batman Light, Aisha, Sunum, Nama, and Patricia. Much more is completed, but just not in my hand yet because, you know, power outs, haha, <laughs> and fuck the internet issues, ah! So beyond all the files PJCR has got me, Z has also begun and finished a nice animation as well as been creating some unique skedaddling sprites for Lumi, Coco, and Lilac, and much more. Unfortunately, none of that can matter or be seen due to Philippines being netless, where Z lives still, fuck! 
I personally have also made quite a hefty asset, a complete redesign and custom tasks for the Starship Yearway. I also may have finished the animation you saw 20 seconds of during the last scene scan and remastered or begun remastering several others. Oh yeah, 314 also happened and uh, I released a new demo game for Junk, which is pretty neat. Yeah, you know, that one. Of man is beyond redemption. Wrath now comes for humanity. Only the worthy will survive. Young disparaged souls. Those humanity has done all in their power to break. I shall guide them to hell. If the fool with the system is father, he may become wise. If all the fish are dead in our pond, then we'll find a new pond. The world may essentially be a prison for those less fortunate, but we can still make it a world worth living. Ooh, my turn then. I'm your favorite outdated operating system. Name's Junkie. We're gonna be the best of friends. <laughs> but I wonder, shall they accept my Junkie God? Or fight and fall in futile defiance. Free will has always been there. A privilege deemed too powerful in humanity's hands. The wrath of the heavens draws near. Yeah, that one. Now, for Fan Art Fantastica. Ha! <laughs> I bet you think given how much time there has been between devlogs due to my adventure of house swapping and just generally being procrastinated and fucking lazy, there's been a bunch of fan art, right? Surely amongst this cavalcade of botches, screw-ups, and boo-boos, more than two fan arts happen, but my friend, you'd be 100% correct! Let's go! Got this really gorgeous and happy looking Swally from us comic maker. Given how much heavy shit Swally's been going through, it's nice to see her return to her more joyful roots. Look at her, she's got the Disney smile and everything. She's so happy, dude. Uh, those were simpler times. Secondly, another biased comic maker. This one of Satana for all, say to N. She's done an amazing job of nailing her cocky, confident vibe and did well in the detailing. Which is impressive, considering just how over detailed this character is. All these amazing sprites for Star Mage. These are actually used in a crossover game he made as a part of a game gem, and I highly recommend trying it out. I'll provide a link in the video description. He did an excellent job in defining the characters he went with, and I gave him a bunch of resources to help him out too, because, you know, he contacted me and we worked it out. I've got this epic sketch of a mysterious maiden by Rose Demos. I am being purposely vague about the character because it's a bit of a spoiler. Got this Junko and this mirror from CRBN. Massive props were for using such complex character designs to grow and flex her arty mu muscles. Keep at it, CRBN. And now, the final. Phoenix Astral went above and beyond with this fan art of not one, not two, not even three. Wow! But four characters! May I introduce you to the Blood Council, starring Asperia, Chloe, Kira, and Kion. God damn, I love this! <laughs> it's perfect! <laughs> You guys keep popping off with all this, you've got to try at some point. I mean, by all means, keep this gravy train rolling while you want to. I'm absolutely loving all this stuff, like Jesus. Mmm, bellissimo. Right then, we'll be back after this short commercial. Concerns for you currently. Huh? You really didn't think it would be so easy, did you?
Master Speed. Well done. I guess that makes it my turn. And now we go live to Emmy Chen in a new house again. Yes. <laughs> uh, fucking yeah. Cease is upset, Dimitri. I'll cease the mistake in your existence. Alright, Dimitri, I'm going to 2018 to 2021. Also, buy this gay fucking gimmick. Haha. <laughs> FAQ time. Want your questions answered? Send them to me at bizarremonkey99 at gmail.com or if you know me anywhere else, then whatever's convenient. I know none of you lazy fuckers have done this yet, but come on, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> Benny, did you find out if you like s'mores? I tried. I tried so fucking hard, dude. Like, the, the small kits they had, they just don't sell them anymore. They just vanished. It's so fucking gay. So, yeah, no, I ain't tried s'mores yet. I'm not sure if you're able to because Australia is fucking stupid. Although, on that note, tried any new foods? <laughs> Indeed, I did. Sushi experimentation was hecka conducted, but as it turns out, taco includes the suckers of the octopus. Uh, compound this with the fact it doesn't taste very special, and you can probably guess. My satisfaction with that one, pro tip, it was fucking zero. But, round two is that I immensely enjoyed the kingfish, and it was really nice. I also finally got to try Dango, and to my surprise, the hype my dumb fucking friend surrounded it with was not undue. I also made my first signature dish. Fish finger crucifix. How much productivity? Done any cool art? Yeah, I mean, I got my 100th speed draw done lately, so that's a big yes. Have you played Cyberpunk 2077 yet? <laughs> oh, you fucking killing me! <laughs> no. Who is the wizard? Never heard of that guy before. Well, who, what's that about, Remy? Oh, here's your spooky schema. One of the protagonists from Menagerie, which was my second large release game coming not too long after Intelligence. He's the same scarf out of smart ass trying to sell you this horse shit if you see me in scandals ago. Remy, how are you doing in Genshin Impact? Still playing? Still playing. I've cancelled my WoW stuff because it's incredibly Chinese, not MMO, but also kinda in some aspects is totally banging and has me at its complete mercy. I also have every 5 star I fucking want and every 4 star in the game and, and, and like 18 level 80, so yeah, my wallet's lying in relief. Remy, how is World of Warcraft Shadowlands? Boring. Holy shit, it was so fucking soulless. If your game doesn't grab me in an hour, let alone fucking four of them, then you and your writers have fucking failed. It's at that point where I want Sylvanas to fucking succeed, because it would mean all these incontinent dumb fucks with no spirit or sass would get fucking deleted. Also, Sylvanas is trying to break the cycle of control with all Azerothians have had placed upon them since birth through their eternal death. Something I can relate to is I utterly hate being told what to fucking do, even if the jailer is a clown card dumb fuck. Ah, classic servers, or the TBC servers are up and coming. No. 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 Yuck. No! Ew, no. Go fucking die. Are you fucking stupid or something? Remy, have you considered trying Honka Impact 3rd? Yes, I really have. I've thought that many times, but I ultimately have to refuse to play it for a few reasons. For one, a single gacha game is dangerous enough to my earnings as it is. Two, gacha games that, like Genshin prove to be very time consuming and I have my own game to work on. Like, and you have to commit, like, there is, there is daily locking events constantly, you have to be there a lot of the time, it is a daily thing, and, like, yeah, it's just, there's no way I can do two of them without having my game suffer in the end. One is bad enough. Thirdly, one of the reasons I so thoroughly enjoy Genshin Impact is because of its, like, free-form exploration aspect, and Honkai Impact just doesn't really have that. Anyway, that's it for the Q&A. Remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button so I can begin 
reaching for 250 subscribers. You guys have been great. We're already halfway there. Like, well, when I hit that 100 subscriber mark, it seems it gets easier to get more subscribers as you get further into the algorithm. Like, it took me five years to get 50. Then it took me two years to get 100. Now I'm already 25 in to, you know, the next milestone, and it's been like a few months. <laughs> I also have thousands of videos on this channel, so if you found this devlog amusing, you might find other content I make amusing too. If you want to keep track of my progress on the games, feel free to follow me on Twitter at RemyChan underscore CCC. I'm really hoping to get 400 followers this year, I've been working really hard on that. But it's so fucking hard to get that last 15. I'm 385, I've gone up to 388, dropped it down, gone back up a bit, dropped back down to 385, it's just... Uh, so yeah, please, if you want to follow me or keep or just support me, following me there is going to be more than a bit of money, F will. If you want to keep up to date on my stuff, it's the best place to go for that such thing as well. Thanks all for watching, toodaloo.